I know I've, I've taken uh, you through the charging stuff uh, already, uh, but today I just want to review this charge controller for you, give you a little bit of information on what it does and how you can connect it as well as some of the features and functions it has that will help you out. All right, so basically this is a Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller. And this specific one is called an MPT100. Um, so what that means is um, it can take a maximum of 100 volts from your photovoltaic cells, which is your solar panels on top of the roof. It can take, um, you can connect them in series, uh, parallel, whichever you want, but you can't exceed um, 100 volts. The output of those panels cannot exceed 100 volts, otherwise this is going to burn. Um, and then the maximum this charge controller can push into your battery is 20 amps. Uh, basically your battery, um, for it to charge, it needs um some kind of embrage being pushed into it by a charger and then here this battery here i see it says uh, maximum charge current 10 amps okay so um, this being a smart controller it will detect all these characteristics from the battery and then it will push the correct amount in terms of embrage into your battery in other words the pressure from the solar panels is reduced on this uh, controller uh, and then just the right amount of pressure is put in your battery basically yeah and then um, i use an app to connect via bluetooth to this charge controller and i'm going to show you now so it's it's a it's an app from victron energy so i've got this app here is called don't know if you can see okay let me just open it all right this is the app is called victron connect okay so i've already connected to this um charge controller uh, via bluetooth and from here these are the current settings um i, I don't know if this the zoom is working oh oh there we go so these are the current settings uh, or uh, things that are happening within the charge controller and from what you can see there i connected the battery the photovoltaic cells which are your solar panels and then from the battery i connected the inverter which is converting my dc from the battery to your normal electricity which is your ac electricity um, and then i put some uh, plugs and adapters and the charger over there now charging my devices my drone my lantern which is the light that i use my power banks um, anything my phone everything that i'm currently using whilst i'm camping here uh, this is my little charging station that i use so i bought this panel uh, a few days ago I'm, I'm sure you've seen the video already um okay so back to the charge controller so so within this app um there's a few things that are that i see and if i open it there it gives me more information on what is exactly happening within the the panel so currently uh the panel is limiting the power um, sorry, the charge controller is limiting the power from the panel to 32 watts. Okay, so but it doesn't mean my panel is only producing 32 watts. No, it's producing way, way more. Uh, but because my battery is full, um, my charge controller is limiting. Um, it is limiting the charge. Okay, let me just switch off this. I think this inverter is making noise okay much better okay much much better apologies for the noise okay so this is my inverter and so so i was explaining uh, the charge controller is basically limiting the power from 
the panels to the battery because the battery is full um, how do I know the battery is full uh, if you come here on these lights so these lights uh, what they mean basically is if the light is blue if the blue light is on uh, it means it's on bulk uh, bulk means the charge controller can push the maximum amount it allows or the battery allows um, it can push that up to around 80 percent full of the battery 80 percent and then when the battery is 80 percent it doesn't require that much push anymore and to also limit the risk of the battery uh, getting damaged it goes into absorption stage or phase uh, where uh, the the amperage from the charge controller is reduced slightly so it, it doesn't use maximum pressure anymore to fill up the battery um, it reduces it uh, way way less and then it to just trickle in slowly slowly and then when the battery is full like 100 percent it goes into float mode which it is in now that green light is in float mode and what that means is the charge controller is only maintaining um, the battery at full capacity so it's only sort of maintaining it at that level it shouldn't exceed it shouldn't be way less so um, that's the phase the the float phase of the charge controller so now i've taken off all the devices i've switched off my inverter and if you if you look at my app here it's now at three watts so what that means is um, the charge controller um, is only kind of letting three watts go into the battery which is barely any power uh, because it's on the floating phase right just keeping the battery fully charged now if i switch on these devices they're gonna charge some power right so um, what that means is this two watts or three watts is gonna increase slightly higher to compensate for the power being used by these devices so i'm going to switch on the um, inverter now for you to see that okay it's on now it's on and my power has jumped to like 17 watts so these devices being charged i'm sure they're using like um 20 223 watts minus like a two watts for keeping the battery fully charged so yeah so this is just power being consumed by all these devices being charged so the more devices i put the more this is gonna go higher which means the it's kind of almost like the power is coming uh from the panels directly to the devices but they're not coming it's not exactly doing that it's just charging up the battery and then the devices are getting the power from the battery okay so yeah so this is how it works and yeah and then on the app itself it shows you the voltage from the panels uh, they're producing about 21 volts um at 1.6 amps and then the second part is the battery information so the battery uh, when it's full full is 14 point something volts and this one is currently charging at 13.8 13.7 which is fine and then the current being drawn from the battery is about 2.1 amps and then it's and then that charge controller like i showed you there um it's showing here on the battery that um it's on float just keeping the battery full and then the last phase um is called the load output so the load output um just makes your um charge controller make the battery kind of healthy um so what that means is when the battery is full uh, the charge controller attempts it it might want to shed off some power like for instance if if there was nothing connected at all and nothing's using the battery um that excess power uh, from the from the panels i know the charge controller because this one is smart it uh, kind of reduces the the power being um, feeding the power being fed to the battery it reduces it so that the battery doesn't um, get overfilled um, so another mechanism or way in which this charge controller uh, shed off some of that excess power is through this load output so if you have 
uh, devices that connect directly to DC like your lights your you can even anything that can um, uh, take 12 volts now with the Victron energy um, smart solar charge controller you can also do a few interesting things using this load output so from the manual they said uh, you can change it you can change the functions to do um, a, a lot of interesting stuff like for instance i'm just going to show you here on the app there is this part which says load output now if i open that okay at the moment it's on battery life okay so it it helps by shedding off some of the power um yeah so that the battery life is kept uh, great and then there's a few functions on here um you can make it be always on if you have devices that you need to always keep on and you can do like conversion algorithm one these are all like custom uh, function stuff and then always off you can um, let it be off all the time and then there's a user defined algorithm um, you can do like even automations to say if the battery reaches this certain stage um, switch on or switch off that kind of thing so if I if I select this for example uh, user defined algorithm and I say okay you can do an automation using like home assistant or any other um, home automation software uh, like we, we uh, we've demonstrated or you see in one of our videos um, how we set up our greenhouse and our automated irrigation so we can tap into this uh, controller as well to to run a couple of nice automations you can even like alert yourself by email to say okay the battery is full or the battery is critically low that sort of thing so it's just a custom function which you can use uh, but for now i'm just going to leave it on battery life just so we can uh, keep the battery um, safe okay so that's the default uh, function that comes with the app all right so basically that's it um, you can connect as many of these as possible you can have multiple multiple charge controllers um, connected and you can use bluetooth to connect to one of to all of them um, and then on here is just a summary of the battery voltage yield today so today the panel produced about 370 watt hours and the power currently being consumed is about 3 watts which is just a float phase and 0.2 amps in terms of um, the amperage so now the moment i switch on this uh, inverter those numbers are going to shoot they're going to go up all right let's do that switch on okay switched on devices are on now and the numbers have gone up see that power was at 2 watts now it's at like 18 watts and so on so it's just going to continue to go up and then if I go into the app okay when I go into the app you're going to see uh, 38 watts 39 watts and then if I go to history for example so I've been using this uh, panel for three days now and it's giving me history for the three days uh, the first day um, it produced 370 watt hours and then yesterday I didn't use much and uh, most of my devices were fully charged anyway it only produced 290 watt hours and then today I did a lot of filming and charging the batteries and all sorts of stuff um, and the panel I put it very early in the morning outside it produced about 510 watt hours so this is a very good controller guys um i would urge you to to buy this if you can um i'll, I'll put the price on the on the screen i think it was 1000 1000 something uh, runs uh, which is about um i think 50 60 dollars if you're buying it in zimbabwe i don't know if these are here in zimbabwe but they should be uh, i bought it online um uh, yeah 
this is pretty cool um yeah so i done my research um yeah before coming up with this system and it's more than adequate um for for just basic charging of stuff and running low voltage um, devices and appliances so you can't connect your stove there guys you can't connect your um your your your, <laughs> your things that uh, chow a lot of power but with this system i can do a lot of things uh, using low voltage like your 12 volts and below um, is more than enough for this thing to run and uh, yeah so far i've been staying here at the property for i think almost a week now and i haven't had any issues um i charge up my lights for my lanterns i charge up all the gadgets that i have um yeah so all good everything's 100 percent working i even got excess power um, I can double up the devices. There's just so much power being produced and I'm only using one panel eh? a 200 watt panel The one I bought in that box there um, that, That's the box it came in. So it's only a 200 watt and I'm charging up everything the drones the phones all my power banks everything so I just want to show you something quick so if I connect all my devices i think i did in one video I'll, I'll just put the clip here um so when it's pulling out a lot of power uh, the numbers also go up on the phone there on that power meter of the app um yeah so yeah this is just a review video of the smart solar charge controller the Vic, uh, victron energy uh, mppt 120 amps uh, very good reliable smart charge controller so i'll see you guys in the next video enjoy